Hey class, we'll do one more chapter for today. This one's chapter 17 called What? It's a little bit confusing, so pay really close attention. Here's the picture. Oh, we'll get that someday. All right. It was purple, so Jenny read the story backward. When she finished, she threw up. Okay, said Jenny. So read the story backwards, suggested Mrs. Jules. That way, the beginning will be a surprise. But I already know how the story ends, Jenny complained. I only like stories with surprise endings. Good point, said Mrs. Jules. Here, you can read the story yourself. It's very funny. She gave the book to Jenny. All I heard was the last sentence, said Jenny. It isn't funny unless you know what happened first. Why are you laughing, Jenny? asked Mrs. Jules. Didn't you think it was a funny story? That made Dana laugh harder. There goes Gigglebox, said Myron. Everybody laughed except for Jenny. Dana laughed hysterically. Mrs. Jules looked back in the story, looked back at the story she had been reading before Jenny's interruption. There was only one sentence left for her to read. She read it to the class. Jenny made a face. She couldn't sit still. She could still taste the awful stuff. And next time you'll drink your prune juice more quickly, said Mrs. Jules. Jenny sat down. Mrs. Jules waited for Jenny to sit down. Jenny wrote her name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Well, that's no excuse, said Mrs. Jules. Now go write your name on the blackboard under the word discipline. I couldn't leave the table until I finished it, explained Jenny, and then I missed the bus. What does prune juice have to do with anything, asked Mrs. Jules. Because I hate prune juice, Jenny griped. Why are you late, asked Mrs. Jules. I can't hear you, Jenny. I better take off my helmet. She took off her helmet. Take off your helmet, said Mrs. Jules. What, asked Jenny. Why are you late, asked Mrs. Jules. Jenny caught her breath. What, she asked. She couldn't hear too well because she was still wearing the motorcycle helmet. Mrs. Jules looked up from the story she had been reading to the class. You're late, she said. She hopped off the bike in front of Wayside School and charged up the stairs. Her stomach was still going up and down. As she opened the door to Mrs. Jules' room, she put on her helmet. Then her father drove her to school on the back of his motorcycle. It was a very bumpy ride. Put on your helmet, said her father. I'll drive you to school on the back of my motorcycle. I miss the bus, Jenny grumbled. What are you doing home? asked her mother. She finally got it all down, then hurried as fast as she could to the bus stop. When she got there, the bus was just pulling away. She sighed. Can you sigh? <sighs> then turned around and ran all the way back home. Her mother wouldn't let her leave the breakfast table until she finished her prune juice. It took her forever. She hated prune juice more than anything in the world. One day, Jenny was late for school. End of that chapter. Can you figure out what that was all about? Can you figure out how that chapter actually worked? All right, I'll tell you. The chapter is written backwards. So the first part is actually the end. So I'll speed read it backwards so that the story makes sense. One day, Jenny was late for school. Her mother wouldn't let her leave the breakfast table until she finished her prune juice. It took her forever. She hated prune juice more than anything in the world. She finally got it all down, then hurried as fast as she could to the bus stop. When she got there, the bus was just pulling away. She sighed and then turned around and ran all the way back home. What are you doing home? asked her mother. I missed the bus, Jenny grumbled. Put on your helmet, said her father. I'll drive you to school on the back of my motorcycle. She put on her helmet, then her father drove her to school on the back of his motorcycle. It was a very bumpy ride. She hopped off the back in front of Wayside School and charged up the stairs. Her stomach was still going up and down as she opened the door to Mrs. Jules' room. Mrs. Jules looked up from the story she had been reading to the class. You're late, she said. Jenny caught her breath. What? she asked. She couldn't hear too well because she was still wearing the motorcycle helmet. Why are you late? asked Mrs. Jules. What? asked Jenny. Take off your helmet, said Mrs. Jules. I can't hear you, said Jenny. I better take off my helmet. She took off her helmet. Why are you late? asked Mrs. Jules. Because I hate prune juice, Jenny griped. What does prune juice have to do with anything? asked Mrs. Jules. I couldn't leave the table until I finished it, explained Jenny, and then I missed the bus. Well, that's no excuse, said Mrs. Jules. Now go write your name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Jenny wrote her name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Mrs. Jules waited for Jenny to sit down. Jenny sat down. And next time you'll drink, you'll drink your prune juice more quickly, said Mrs. Jules. Jenny made a face. She could still taste the awful stuff. Mrs. Jules looked back in the story she had been reading before Jenny's interruption. There was only one sentence left for her to read. She read it to the class. Everybody laughed except for Jenna. Jenny. Dana laughed hysterically. There goes Gigglebox, said Myron. That made Dana laugh harder. Why aren't you laughing, Jenny? asked Mrs. Jules. Didn't you think it was a funny story? 
All I heard was the last sentence, said Jenny. It isn't funny unless you know what happened first. Good point, said Mrs. Jules. Here, you can read the story yourself. It's very funny. She gave the book to Jenny. But I already know how the story ends, Jenny complained. I only like stories with surprise endings. So read the book. So read the story backwards, suggested Mrs. Jules. That way, the beginning will be a surprise. Okay, said Jenny. So Jenny read the story backwards. When she finished, she threw up. It was purple. Now does it make more sense?